Welcome back to another episode of Raw Talk where we get zero Fs over here. I know y'all need to do me a solid smash that like, man. It's free. Go ahead and smash that subscription. It's free as well, man. Today we have a booty bandit video. Now, I've told plenty of stories on my channel about booty bandits. I've told stories about booty warriors. Today we're going to get into a real live, real deal, first-hand encounter of... Prison seduction. Let's get it. Y'all already know. I didn't expect all that right now. I'm for keeping coming at with Papa. Yes, sir. Oh, man, I'm drooling all over. So the sound. The sound is a little messed up because it's, it's, I guess it's people in the background talking while they're filming this going on. Uh, so I don't even know what they talking about, but I, I you're going to hear some funny shit. Let's go. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I got that shit. Color is a devil last time. I want another one. Yeah, well, regardless. Yes, I know. You make terrible But they feel so good, though. Listen, man, let's run this back, man. Let's run this back. Let's see what's going on here. Bro, look at the way he rubbing the man head. Like, come here, little boy. Come here, you my little boy. Come here. Come here. Oh, man, I'm drooling all over. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I got that shit. I told her the devil last time. I want another one. Yeah, well, regardless. Yes, I'm old. You make terrible. But they feel so good, though. Oh. 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 Now, listen. This is something that goes on in the penitentiary and prison daily yearly 365 days a year 364 whatever this is this is something that goes on daily this is this is not like oh my god this is really happening this is something that goes on daily in prison this is something that when you're walking by and you see you have to turn your head bro don't don't bother looking don't stare don't be like oh my god what is he doing to that poor little white guy don't do that bro don't do that. If you see this in prison, if you, God forbid, you land in prison and you see some shit like this, turn. Do not pay attention. I know you've seen movies about, oh, if somebody gets stabbed in line, just walk over the body. And that's pretty much a synopsis of what you need to do. Pretty much. Just walk over the body and keep it chunking. If you didn't stab him, if you ain't got nothing to do with it, keep it trucking. I'm going to tell you a little short story, bro. But tell you a little short story. We're not gonna use names for this story. We go, we go call, we go, we go just give them names. We just go give them names. I was at Holmes Correctional Institution. It was a white boy. We're gonna just call him WB. We're gonna just call him WB. And there was a booty bandit. We're gonna call him BB. Booty bandit. This white boy came to the pound at Holmes Correctional Institution and had a lot of tattoos on him. Some of the tattoos were identifiable marks of the blood gang. When he was approached about it, he stated that he was a part of the blood gang. This is WB, white boy. He stated he was a part of the blood gang. When the bloods ran down on him, they gave him two options, because there is no white bloods in Florida prison. I don't, I don't care what anybody thinks, what anybody's talking about. We're talking about, I did 10 years in Florida Department of Corrections. There's no white bloods whatsoever. Maybe at a UFO offender camp, because I've seen some wild stuff at UFO offender camps. I've seen black Latin kings. I've seen white Latin kings. I've seen white bloods. I've seen white ZMFs. I've seen some wild stuff at UFO offender prisons. But at adult camp, it's a no-go. And 
when I say there are no white bloods, there are no white bloods. And the only person that's going to be running down on the white boy for saying he's a blood is the bloods. So the bloods ran down on WB and they gave WB two options. His only two options were to check in or to get stabbed. Those were his two options. He had 24 hours. Usually when somebody on the compound tell you, because I've, I've initiated hits before on the compound, so I know what I'm talking about. Usually somebody's going to tell you, you have 24 hours to get off this compound. And why? Why would Pino run up on this person or this person run up on this person and tell them, hey, you got 24 hours to get off this compound? Because it potentially saves you from having to stab that person. It potentially saves you from having to send that person to medical and you possibly facing outside charges or going to confinement for 60 days and getting a negative transfer. So that's where the warning comes in. You have 24 hours to get off this compound. So the Bloods gave him a warning. They told him, you got 24 hours to get off this compound. Word got around that he was going to get stabbed. WB was going to get stabbed. Word went around that that white boy was going to get stabbed. Now, BB, Booty Bandit, that's the name we're giving him today. Booty Bandit worked in laundry. Booty Bandit was actually the head of laundry. When I say you're the head of laundry, that's a pretty big title on the compound. For people who don't know prison, don't know what prison is like, the head of laundry is a pretty big title. For the simple fact, you get brand new blues, which is your uniform. You get brand new shit. For, you, you know, you can sell them to people wanting to go to Vizzo every weekend. You get brand new boots. You get brand new thermals that you can steal because they give thermals out to the outside ground people during the winter. So they have something to wear while they're out there cutting grass. Um, you get brand new thermals. You get basically anything that the state provides you, you can get it brand new. And the big deal about getting your stuff brand new is everything that's given to you in prison is old and worn and dirty. Your shoes might have retread on them. Your boots might have this thick of retread slapped on the bottom. So to have brand new shit, is, it's like a luxury. So anyways, BB, Booty Bandit worked in the laundry. Booty Bandit was the head of laundry. Booty Bandit had a lot of face on the compound. And I wouldn't even call him per chance a Booty Bandit because he only fucked the willing. Um, and we'll get into that. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Booty Bandit got word that there's this little old white boy who says he was a blood. That the bloods ran down on him and told him, you got 24 hours to get off the compound or you're going to get stabbed. Now, the thing about working in laundry and being the head of laundry is you're able to go to every dorm on the compound. Because every dorm on the compound has a laundry drop. So you're able to go to every dorm on the compound. BB slides his way off in uh, WB's dorm. He gives WB an ultimatum. The ultimatum is... I Let me not even say he gave him an ultimatum because I wasn't there word for word to hear what, what was said. But just know, by the next day, WB was holding on to Booty Bandit, BB, the head of laundry's pocket, all through the child hall, all the way back to the dorm. He was holding on to his pocket. Now, this posed as a threat to the Bloods. Not so much as a threat, but more like a dispute. Because now we just told him he had 24 hours to get off the compound for claiming blood. And the next day when Chow was called, this same WB white boy who was claiming blood is now holding on to a known booty bandit's pocket on the way to Chow. Now this booty bandit has seven life sentences. This booty bandit had a, a, quite a few life sentences. He was never getting out, never seeing the light of day. He was also well known for stabbing. He was also well known for just because, listen, you got to understand, just because he's a booty bandit and just because he likes anal activities and, and, and nasty things does not mean that he's a bitch or he's pussy. 
That, that by no means, because this dude will kill you. So the long story short, I don't know what happened between the Bloods and Mr. BB, but Mr. BB went and sat down with the head of the Bloods and everything was squashed. And from there on out, that white boy was Mr. BB's bitch. Anytime Mr. BB would walk around the compound with his laundry cart, he had that white boy attached to his hip. Now, moral of the story is he probably, not probably, but guarantee gave him protection, told him, you're going to be my bitch, I'm going to fuck you, and this is what's going to go on, or the bloods are going to stab you. This white boy had a whole girlfriend on the street and kids. And kids, I said it, yeah, and kids. Came to prison, a big bad, oh, I'm going to say I'm a big bad gang member. And he ended up in a situation like this, man. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. He ended up in a situation like this. Do y'all see that? Do you see that? Do you see him crying into that man's shoulder? Listen, there's nothing cool about gangs. There's nothing cool about prison. There's nothing cool about this. This is a grown man sitting under another grown man's shoulder getting smacked and most likely getting his rectum tore out later that night. There's nothing to glorify about this. There's nothing to say that, oh, it's cool because I've been to prison, this, that, and because this is the harsh reality of what could happen to some of y'all if y'all go to prison. And you can say, nah, Pino, it ain't happening to me, Pino. I'm on that. It ain't happening to me. I'm going out my mind. I'm going out like this. Da, 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 da. Which may be the case. Which may be the case. But it's not for everybody. Everybody's not built like you. And the sad statistics is 30% of people that go to prison wind up like this. 30%. They either wind up in some type of trouble from drug debt. They run into some type of trouble from a booty bandit because they open themselves out willingly like that. Because truth be told, the booty bandits ain't taking booty no more. They finessing it. They not taking it. They finessing it. But that was another episode of Raw Talk. We get zero Fs over here. If you ain't hit that like, go ahead and smash that like, man. We got more content on the way. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Raw Talk.